Here at Zero, we are helping a community to reduce their environmental impacts with a number of different initiatives, such as our Zero Waste Shop and TerraCycle Hub. Our Energy Circle, among other things, provides information on cutting your energy usage, and therefore your bills, through our displays in Zero or by talks hosted by the team. This September, the official launch of the Sustainable Business Network will be taking place. This is a partnership with the University of Surrey to create a pathway for small and medium-sized businesses to be more sustainable. One initiative which helps to highlight the problems of a changing planet is our vertical farming. The UK imports around 40% of the food we eat, putting us at risk of food insecurity as climate change worsens. And whilst vertical farming is by no means a magic bullet, we're spreading awareness for the role that community growing through innovative techniques can contribute to Surrey's food strategy. We only do this on a small scale, but we hope to use our modest setup to help other parts of the community explore self-sufficiency through hydro and aquaponics. With the exception of root vegetables, the towers can be used to grow a huge range of fruit and veg. With a little innovation and some string, we're currently growing tomatoes. You could describe vertical farming as an innovative space-conserving growing technique, which are designed for households that don't have gardens or the equipment for traditional farming to grow fresh crops. The seedlings are potted on top of each other and grown in a controlled environment agriculture. Fluorescent grow lights, water and a supply of nutrients allow the crops to grow in the best environment indoors. Our vertical towers were generously funded by Transition Together, an international movement of communities to reimagine and rebuild our world. It is thanks to them that we are able to harvest fresh produce every four to six weeks or eight to 10 harvests per year. At zero, this food goes to our community fridge. Our community fridge is open to anyone and has so far prevented 3.5 tonnes of food from going to waste since its launch a few months ago. That's equivalent to six tonnes of CO2 that's not been put into the atmosphere. By the effort of just a few volunteers, we've also raised awareness that food waste contributes around 8% of man-made emissions, which is a totally avoidable problem. We hope these discussions will continue to inspire a community to reduce their food waste and to grow and share fresh food in Guildford and to introduce them to Zero, a community place for community-led climate action.